Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to tackle the daunting task of replacing a FEP on the Elegoo Saturn 3D printer. Um, as you can notice in that picture there, there was a little bit of resin that uh, somehow made it through the FEP. And I had done so many prints that it just wasn't surprising. You can kind of see there, it's it's been pretty beaten up. And so it was time to replace um, the FEP sheet on there. And so I decided to tackle it. I'll film it for your uh, information, just in case you are in a situation where you need to tackle that or concerned about the process. Um, if you're afraid to get that, to take the dive into that 3D resin printing because you've heard horror stories about replacing the FEP. Um, so here we are, we'll go through it. Uh, largely it just involves a, a removing and replacing a whole lot of screws. Uh, so it's pieced together and there's kind of multiple stages here best recommendation I can give you is organize your screws and don't mix them up um, so you can kind of have a little pile I've got the four main screws at the top there and a little pile for that second run of screws and then finally these last two pieces of metal that are wedged together have one last series of smaller screws now it's pretty hard to mix them up they are from three different sizes and when you purchase the the Elegoo Saturn, they give you the Allen wrenches for all three sizes. Uh, so largely it's, it's uh, pretty user proof. So finally removing that last piece and getting out the, the new piece of FEP there, you got to remove the protective material from the outside, very, very important. You want the light to pass through. And you might notice a little bit of resin here and there. I did clean it and hit it with the UV light to try to get it all, everything hardened. Uh, but there's going to be a little bit here and there, and that's it's not going to be an issue. It doesn't have to be super squeaky clean. Just trying to keep it off, keep it off your fingers. For the most part, it's dried. So when replacing the screws, so I've got the new FEP in there. Uh, I noticed pretty quickly that um, at least I was concerned that pushing the screws through the plastic might stretch it. So I ended up grabbing an X-Acto knife and just poking, pre-poking a little hole for the screws so that uh, it wouldn't fight them too much. That way I wouldn't end up with a FEP that was stretched or uh, ended up getting torn in some way. So gradually getting those screws back in. Um, when you do put them in, I would recommend alternating between sides. So start on one side, then move to the other, and go back, kind of hop, hop back and forth from the corners to get a nice even pressure on the FEP. It's not going to be super tight because uh, later on when you put it into the larger frame, that's when it's going to really tighten up. So you don't want it too tight right now or else you'll end up stretching it and uh, having a real problem. You can actually uh, mess it up. So not super snug. It's def I, I don't know if there's a specific tension that you should look for, but uh, I just didn't worry too much about it as long as it was straight and it didn't look like it was too stretched, then I, I didn't worry about it. And this ended up working out and, and printing successfully afterwards. So whatever I did worked. So after it's all in there and that first layer of screws, you use the X-Acto knife to clear off the extra FEP around the outside. This is really the best stage to do that in because after you put it back into the, the larger frame, uh, that would be uh, much more difficult. So do it now and uh, save yourself some trouble. Here we have that larger frame again. I'm just gonna set it down in there and you're gonna notice um, it does, this is where it starts to add tension because that frame actually puts pressure on the inside of the FEP. As you screw down these, this layer of screws, it's going to add that tension that you need to get that FEP come nice and tight. So as the screws go in, you're gonna see, the, see it tense up. And that's good. You want it nice and firm. And again, alternating from side to side, making sure that tension is as even as possible. And 
Finally, the last four screws the, the four, on the Elegu Saturn, those four corner screws stick up uh, a bit. So when you take it out of the machine and set it down, it will actually sit on the screws rather than on the, the FEP sheet itself. So you can kind of protect your, protect your sheet from a random debris that might be on the table, which is uh, quite nice. So getting those all screwed in, then it should be ready, almost ready to go. Let's see those battle mechs in the background. <laughs> all right, so with that, the FEP sheet is nice in there, nice and tight, looking brand spanking new. Uh, used a little, uh, you know, Kim Tech wipe to get any sort of dust, and I did a quick clean with um, some uh, isopropyl alcohol to get any sort of dust debris that is in there, and then finally screw it down and uh, give it another run. Now I've replaced the little screen protector underneath as well um, because some resin did dry on that, and. Uh, I, I couldn't get it cleaned off without poking a little hole in it, so uh, I would definitely recommend that as well to, to protect your screen from leaks. All right, with that, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and have an awesome day.